welcome back, thanks for tuning in. I'm Lilo, you're watching Headbangers Lifestyle and this is a look at the really. Hello, hi guys. Welcome, welcome. And this is the black box, the mystery HBLS black box and you have no idea what's in it. Uh, do you want to know? <laughs> if <Yeah>. I did. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Just open it and uh, let's see what comes out. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Ah, okay, my god. <laughs> I was painting what it was. <laughs> It's treasure, yeah, sort of. Super. So you just grab uh, something and uh, let's start. Let's start. Okay, that's okay. the front of the new album, yes. right? And the title is? Zero Gravity, Rebirth and Evolution. And yes. what is this album all about? Well, I would say this is very important. It's a kind of debut album, a new start, a new beginning. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's very especially important for us, for me and Fabio. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the result of the, what happened after the farewell tour. So we had this long farewell tour celebrating the 20 years of the band. Mm -hmm. It was a long tour. We expected like a few festivals only. In the end it lasted something like two years. So, and then the renewed fr friendship, let's say, with Fabio. And also the, the will the request, you know, of all the people around us. Please go on, go on, go on, go on. We said, okay, we can go on but only if we can introduce some new elements, give our music, the music you all know, um, a different direction, mm -hmm. all that. So, and this is the result. Uh, to really Leone Rhapsody and Zero Gravity, Rebirth and Evolution. So, let's say, the typical Rhapsody sound, mm -hmm. the cinematic, symphonic impact, but enriched by all the things that we like nowadays. We could have never started playing something that, uh, no. No, that we were doing uh, uh, 20 years ago, of course. We are different people, yeah. now we are <laughs> moving in different, uh, we have different visions, all that. So this is the result. Yeah, and so. the fans will be pleased, you think, with the result? You're of course, but, yeah. no, uh, we, we hope and we really, no, no, because we invested a lot of energy, a lot of work, yeah. many months in the studio, mm -hmm. so really willing to guarantee the same quality, a typical Rhapsody quality, but enriched by many, 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 many new elements, yeah. especially very modern. Very we wanted modern. to sound very modern, yeah. like how Rhapsody should sound mm -hmm. in the new millennium. Right, and this is the start from many albums yet to come after? I think. Uh, we hope, this yeah. is, we call it a debut album, debut Re album. the record company agrees, <laughs> <Okay>. so <laughs> no, no, this is a debut yeah. album yeah. because yeah. it's so different from the yeah. past that uh, yeah. it deserves such title. Alright, let's move on. Yes. Let's come on. Yeah. Take some plans. Marshall. Yeah, that stands for, of course, you're a musician for gear. Uh, how important is uh, is the way you select your gear playing? Uh, did you change over the years playing? Ma, I, I will uh, surprise you because I never cared about the gear. <laughs> you never did? And yeah, no, that? because yeah, I always say I'm not a real guitar player. Really? No, me, I'm a composer. Me, I mean, the guy staying in the studio close 24 hours per day, not having a holiday, I think, since I was uh, at school. Mm -hmm. So just working like an hermit, they call me the hermit. Sometimes I can close myself for three months yeah. at home, mm -hmm. working, never go out. Uh, so you can imagine. So I don't feel to be a real guitar player. Uh, that's why Marshall, especially Marshall, was never a big fan. No? <laughs> yeah. But, but what do you uh, play? What kind of gear do you use then these days? Uh, for the guitar. Eh? Yeah, and amps, especially now you are uh, starting with a new sound, like very modern. Did ah, okay, you, did you okay. change gear over No, no, no. Or? Okay, now we go for low tuned guitars mm -hmm. because we wanted to sound modern, right. as I told you before, no? Yeah. For this new band, uh, we wanted as first thing a new impact. Very modern, ultra powerful, because this is what we like to listen nowadays. Rammstein, Within Temptation, mm -hmm. all these kind of bands, no? And uh, at the base, you have always a super modern sounding yeah. guitar yeah and um, so in some way but it's more that I, we go in the studio and then in the studio we select the gear mesa boogie and so on no mm -hmm. uh, do a rectifier and so on but in general dominic for example that is the guitar the other guitar player in my band is the one expert the one that tweaks everything yeah. me i'm the keyboard expert okay. in the sense that uh, me i play pre primarily keyboards and we think also that in the next show and in the shows of uh, To The Leone Rhapsody, probably I will play half show guitar, mm -hmm. half show keyboards. This could be very oh, nice for yeah. the fans. 
uh, I think will be something yeah. really special. Yeah. Yeah. So they will appreciate it and this is it's not easy yeah. because uh, for me, you know, I never play the keyboards on stage. I play uh -huh. at home, my piano. Yeah. So it's a different situation, but it would be so cool to try something in that direction. So, so yes, for keyboards I can tell you everything, but I guess <laughs> this, uh, this doesn't refer to keyboards. Here in general. <laughs> All right, moving on. You. Yeah, that's the booklet of I think the second album. Uh, so this is very old. This this booklet shows you know yes. the old times of Rhapsody, and the band name has been changing a lot. How confusing it is, but now it is uh, Tri uh, Leone, Leone Rhapsody. Rhapsody. All right. How do you look back on you know the whole career actually uh, from now? Uh, well, in every career of every musician, there are lights and shadows. No, exactly. I yeah. think I can. We can speak about the lights before the shadows, of course. And uh, it was a great moment because this album really represents uh, the best-selling album, Symphony mm -hmm. of Enchanted Lands, uh, the first part. So yes, it was a, say, a magic moment. You imagine the first contract, that feeling of. Uh, having uh, done something mm -hmm. but even uh, now I remember we were young maybe idiots <laughs> <laughs> maybe we are still anyway uh, but uh, we were not realizing the 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 success we had in that moment yeah because uh, we received this new we were receiving this news from our label at the time was uh, the one of Lim Schnorr it was famous because he discovered uh, Halloween, Angra and then Rhapsody right. so yeah. it was a, a very important label at the time and uh, for some reasons, let's say when they were communicating to us, ah, you reached this result, we were thinking, yes, but what is good or not good? Because you know, uh, the first contracts are always the first yeah. contracts, so you cannot really touch the success that you can have. Yeah. They are just numbers in yeah. the end, no? Yeah. But it was such an amazing result, so everybody was speaking about uh, Rhapsody in that moment, and so, yes, so yeah. it's a, a part of yeah. our life, very important. What kind of a stamp? Uh, did you put on the whole uh, music scene, you think, with the band and with your music? <coughs> Sorry, it was not uh, that I never think that we made something new. I think uh, the mix of what we did was new. So we took different elements already pre existing. Mm -hmm. So, because at the time I remember Black Guardian, Black Guardian, they were already, for example, they introduced already the folklore aspect yeah. you know, and, this, but, and then many bands before in the 70s already you know yeah. so it was not something new it's just that we mixed many different elements and we found this combination of you know, connecting this uh, typical hollywood uh, sound of the soundtracks at the time there was conan the barbarian all there were yeah, all these yeah. movies <laughs> we loved so much yeah. and uh, and so we wanted really to, to to add this in our music, to our music, since the very first moment. So Rhapsody, that before before the name was not Rhapsody, but was Thundercross, was born because of that. Now to represent this, to translate this epic impact into music, yeah. the visual impact that we were receiving by looking these yeah. uh, these movies, yeah. like Conan, Barbarian, Schwarzenegger, yeah, Dead Mask. Exactly. We were young, so we felt the <laughs> energy. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So that's it. And then, um, of course, the folklore. The typical speed metal of the time right. we love because I started listening. I passed really from pop to metal, listening, passing from Duran Duran, Pet Shop oh, yeah. Boys, those bands, to the final countdown, where it was the bridge. Yeah. And then directly to Halloween because it was kind of, no? It was the perfect passage yeah. in some way. Yeah. At the time it was considered pop melodic metal, but for me it was no, already yeah. a big change with these heavy guitars, and that's why then I passed from Halloween to all the other guitar players, all that, and then I started, I decided to play the guitar, things yeah. like that. So, yes, it was all a kind of a chain reaction, yeah. and everything led to this result that is still that, the yeah. best result we ever had yeah. in our career. This yeah. represented the, the apex. Yeah, Already thanks. with the second album, you imagine? Yeah, so we were very lucky, very lucky. Nice. All right. What do we have more? Oh la la. Ooh, there's a like. Exact. Amarante. Yes. Amarante. Um, ah, you say Amarante? Yeah, I, I guess because so. Because I say Amarant. Ah, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Amarante. <laughs> so, Elisa Reed is yes. uh, singing on the new album yes. as a guest singer. So, uh, in case I want to sing on your album, what qualities do I need to have to be a guest singer? A fresh yeah. voice, a fresh, a fresh voice, voice uh, touching heart and soul. So I think the voice of Elise is really, 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 uh, it was really perfect for our choice yeah. because mm -hmm. um, it has such requisites in the sense that uh, uh, it's very, 
fresh, fresh I think is the best adjective because um, mm, for the, especially for the song, no? Because DNA is one very important song of our album, it's very modern, mm -hmm. so yeah. very different from what we did in the past, so there are some elements very, very, very uh, modern with a lot of special effects like that, and so we thought the combination of her and Fabio on that song would have been great, and yeah. it was. Yeah. We love that song. And um, uh, did you handpick her or were there other uh, guest vocals in mind? No, okay, we composed this song, we brought these songs knowing that there will be this challenge between demon and angel. We play on the on the word DNA, no, the genetic, yeah? to speak about the positive and negative side we have, every one of us has it. And uh, so we thought it would have been great to represent the demon by Fabio. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and uh, the, the Elise in the role of angel. Um, and yeah, it was easy because Fabio already collaborated, you know, they had already a kind of collaboration together with Elise okay. in the Camelot Tour mm -hmm. yep. many years ago. And so they were in, you know, it was very easy to contact yeah. her, yeah. but we didn't know if she would have liked it or not. Yeah. So we were very surprised because she really loved the song. So it was all, ah, yes, I want to do it. So we did it and uh, nice. we are really happy about the final result. And they represent the, also a modern aspect. Yeah. You know, as we want to go in a modern direction, this was very important as special yeah. guest appearance in that sense. Yeah, understand. All right. Thank you. Yes, next. Oh la la, <laughs> what I see here. Something like this, what is? It's an empty CD. And yes. I wonder uh, what kind of music are you listening today? And is there, uh, I mean, are there new talent you spotted, like a guitarist, maybe a keyboard player, or new bands that you really see as standing out? Because there's so, there's so much offerings in the music scene. You know, me and my composer, so I listen to all the music of the world, from hip hop mm -hmm. to metal to, to, to everything. So really, the only, only thing that I don't like is blues. Blue. I oh, don't wow. know why, oh. for which reason. Sorry, sorry, my friend, sorry, <laughs> excuse me. Surprise! But I never was touched by blues. Even, yes, there are fantastic guitar players in that sense, no? Mm -hmm. But for some reason, I don't get touched. Probably because I come. Uh, from the classical music, yeah. I have the roots in this kind of harmonic uh, evolutions mm -hmm. that I'm not able to appreciate that the kind of, the, to me at least, sounds a repetitive, uh, you know, mm -hmm. offer, let's okay. say. So I'm sorry for that. But all the rest, I love all the rest. My favorite band is Muse. I Muse? love Muse. Yeah. And in the meta, I would say Dream Theater. Mm -hmm. I rediscovered them. Since uh, I didn't follow them, I knew only one album was Images and Words, but now lately I discovered them, so I took the complete discography, it was a while like this. And, um, and then within Temptation, I was a big fan also of Nightwish before, uh, with Taria, I loved them, it was my favorite band. Now we love uh, Within Temptation, as I told you, because of the voice of Sharon. Yeah. I really like this kind of family voice, very yeah. specific, particular, and so very sweet. Uh, because I like the contrast between the sweet voice yeah. and the heavy guitars. Right. Uh, so, yeah. and then, uh, and then I, my, my favorite singer is outside meta is Adele. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she has we a know. voice that yeah. whenever here there is something yeah. you are in a restaurant, I hear a voice. Uh, yeah. It touches my my heart and soul. Yeah. And then uh, other uh, in the meta a new band, new promising band, mm -hmm. Miraf. Miraf, yes. Yes. Heard of that. I don't know you say the, Myrat before we yes. were discussing. <laughs> if you say Myrat or Miraf, I like them because I like all these bands. Normally I never like bands that are only based on, except uh, Bad Religion, that was one of my youth uh, uh, preferred bands, no? Um, but it was punk rock yeah. in some way. But normally I never like when it's missing keyboards. So I like all the bands that on top of the real band, like bass, guitar, drums, uh, singer, uh, they also bring something on top, no? Bring something more. So, for example, Miraf, with all these folk uh, elements, they are just amazing, fantastic, and original, because nobody else is doing that. Yeah. So that's, th that's the first thing that I say to a new band, when yeah. they ask me an advice, they want to start, mm -hmm. what, uh, how it's possible to, to achieve something to this, uh, you know, music business. Yeah. I say, first of all, before meeting in the rehearsing room, you have really to sit, uh, uh, take uh, the chairs, sit around the table, take a piece of paper and put your ideas at first to have new ideas. That's it. And then when you think that there is something coming out from the rest, from all the rest, something you never heard, that's uh, the solution. Because yeah. most of the bands, they do the mistake of 
trying to reproduce what their idols are playing. Exactly. And so yeah. that's not the like key to, no. to achieve something. No. That's a good tip. Yep. All right. <laughs> so what do you have more? Oh, yes, yes, Chris, yes, yes, our friend Chris. Yes, you one and only Dracula, Count Dracula. So you have special memories. About this was the, another, like I said before, about the Symphony of Central Lands, that special moment because of the contracts or what yeah. was happening around our band. I would say that Chris, really, we call it Uncle Chris, of course. Uncle Chris. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, it was a because in that moment. There was there were many years nobody was speaking anymore about him, no. But in in those years when we had the possibility to have him, it was the moment when he wanted really to present himself to a youth, younger audience, let's yeah. say. So that's why he started in the movies like Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, all that, no. Yeah. So in some way, uh, I think also he accepted to collaborate with us because of that. Because he thought, ah, okay, if after these movies I also do a collaboration, in that he didn't even know what was Metallica about. No. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> and that's why we were very worried. So I remember that <laughs> when we had to contact him, we were totally trembling like children. Nervous, no? yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and so uh, we sent to him just the ballads of Rhapsody. Mm -hmm. So, you know, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> no guitar chords, no guitars, no rhythm, yeah. distortion. And he liked it immediately, you know, he said, but oh, if metal is like this, I like metal, you know? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and so the collaboration happened, but then he liked so much even the metal song so that uh, he decided to go on. So after us, that's why he created yeah. his project, I don't know how it was called, but uh, he made something more in... He totally yes. got metal, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Yeah, because, oh, that's so yes, it was great. amazing, we were so sad when, it yeah. happened. of course, it was old, yeah. but it was... Uh, uh, yes, yeah, absolutely. Of but. He's on your record, so... But you have to know this for, for, for his respect, I have to say, because for him it was important, he, was, he didn't want to be remembered because of Dracula. He was hating this, every mm -hmm. time we were going to a transmission to promote what we made together, the album and so on, the collaboration in general, when there was the, the, the conductor, how you say in English, I don't know, uh, asking him questions about Dracula, he was always turning to us with this face, no? very, <laughs> very horror style, and telling what, is, what does she want to know, no? yeah. in the sense that uh, for him he didn't want to be remembered be, for Dracula, but of course in the very beginning we all know him yeah. for this, so yeah. yes, it was good a, memories, yeah, absolutely, nice, the best memories. The best. Well, we have a few more left. Oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're Italian! Yes, I mean, yes. <laughs> besides pasta and everything, <laughs> what is uh, the most important things in, in your life as an Italian? Ah, well, okay, so you can speak in general, I'm not speaking about food now, no? You can talk about food, <laughs> you can talk about in general. No, no, I think these are like this, of course, we know, no? <laughs> in all the world, they love uh, spaghetti, not only the Italians. <laughs> No, of course, they search for it everywhere, the Americans and so on. So, but I would say that uh, it's very important because, uh, you know, near us in a, in a world without borders, no? For me, already a line between, uh, no, on a piece of ground, no? There is a line uh, and I'm not allowed to go over that line. For me, something the border science mean. fiction is something, yes, yes. Yeah. So I cannot go to Tibet if I want to go to Tibet. What is this? This yeah. is bullshit, no? So, in some way, it's great because you uh, start from your origin, from your root, so you bring your richness, but you evolve it into a universal message. This is the point, you know, yeah. also we, we do with Rhapsody, for example. For example, in the new album, Zero Gravity, we have a song dedicated to, it's called Arcanum Da Vinci's Enigma. And it's dedicated to the great genius of Leonardo Da Vinci right. and the mystical aspect uh, of his art. No, all the secret codes that were hidden, that he was hiding in his creations. So, and then there is another song called Amate Immortale that speaks about Giacomo Leopardi, that is the most famous poet, one of the most famous in, uh, in Italy. Mm -hmm. And he wrote this poem called The Infinite, that is a really a spiritual, uh, is the description of a spiritual experience. So, I would say it's so great, no? We, we really start from our origin, we bring what we love from our culture and then we expand it into something universal. Yeah. Uh, this should be art, 
in some way, no? Right. Yeah. So no yeah. division, no borders, no, but just, uh, just a communion in the name of light and love. That's that's what we believe. Yeah, that sounds like. An, if, and if we start from a dish, uh, yeah, spaghetti, spaghetti. That's, uh, that's a good start. Yeah. But uh, if you invite your neighbors over or friends, what do you like to cook? But you know, them? you know, I tell you. I didn't think I invite someone at home in 20 years. You did not? No. I, I'm what? not the guy going out with friends to drink because I don't drink, I don't smoke. Mm -hmm. So I'm already an animal, yeah. <laughs> a strange animal, in the sense that I'm anomaly. You say anomaly? Anomaly. Anomaly. Yeah. So it's already, a, a, they yeah. look at me like a strange guy, no? <laughs> but it's because um, in, in that way I'm a, an artist. If you, you know, you call an yeah. artist a guy very particular that, uh, you know, he, he likes to stay close at home like three months without going out from home, yeah. things like that, like yeah. I told you. So, but this is because I love so much music mm -hmm. that I'm just totally connected to it. So, for me to think to go half an hour out with friends, it's not the same than playing no. 30 minutes of piano. Because yeah. I feel time is missing and more and more mm -hmm. I'm living, I feel this time is reducing yeah. itself. And so every second is becoming precious. So I prefer mm -hmm. to make yoga, meditation, this kind of things that is part of my yeah. my, part my of passion. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, so it's so, very yeah. So no, but sometimes okay, <laughs> on tour, yeah. all these kind of things. When we go out with the friends, of course we enjoy, yeah. and uh, we also enjoy <laughs> many <A good> spaghetti. <laughs> <A good> spaghetti <laughs> things. Maybe when you are in China or yeah, things exactly. like that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now we still have a few things left. Oh my God. This? That's cute, isn't it? Yes, lovely. <laughs> well, that's, that's kind of for traveling. Uh, how would you like to travel? And did traveling uh, change for you over the years since you were in the beginning of, with the band and up till now, sort of? Ma, first of all, at first we liked travel, now not so much. Mm -hmm. Because now everybody gets, uh, is getting older. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, in some way, now we were speaking about this a few days ago with the other band members, no? Then right now we love the moment when you are on stage with the people in front playing, but all the rest became uh, heavy, yeah. no? Because, uh, yes, because there are this aspect of the life on tour that are a little bit... Uh, yeah, it's getting harder and harder. <laughs> harder guess, and harder yeah. after many years, the yeah. toilet, not clean, this and that, the yeah. shower under, you have to, to take care of where you work, yeah. to not get infection everywhere, <laughs> especially when you're playing in some venues. Yeah, you know, they're um, kind of uh, shady. Some, yes, <laughs> in some yeah. countries of the world, yeah. you know, that... Uh, so you get more picky, I guess, when you get older. Yeah, it's normal, I think, no? You want yeah. more than... To, yeah. I mean, uh, but in general, I have to say, the travel to visit places, things like this, this is fantastic, this is amazing, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because uh, uh, when we go to these countries that we never saw before, exactly. yeah. uh, now it seems that we will go to Australia, will be the first time in our life. It's just amazing because, yeah. uh, because of the nature even, just yeah. because of the nature. When I went to New Zealand, mm -hmm. I was a big fan of the Lord of the Ring movies in 2003, yeah. when I was totally into fantasy. That, and when I went to New Zealand a few years later, it was so magic that uh, I don't know if it was because of the movie, the, but just because of the nature, yeah. no? So as we all love nature, you know, the guys of Rhapsody, uh, with Fabio, we always uh, created songs about nature, a kind of hymns to nature. Doesn't matter if it was filtered by a saga or uh, whatever, yeah. but we always spoke about that, no? The infinite wonders of creation. I made full length yeah. albums about that. So imagine that travel can, uh, can make your experience can make you grow right. uh, and the experience yeah. is important and using the songs absolutely yeah. absolutely yes because after that i entitled one yeah. song one ring to rule them all that was dedicated to the movie but just because i went to new zealand yeah. and i experienced directly that magic the magic of yeah. the movie in the reality yeah. Uh, yeah so the song has an honest feeling because uh, experienced absolutely, it. absolutely yeah cool yeah now nice all right what do you have more Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just talking about getting older, I mean. Hey, okay. <laughs> How does so, that okay. feel? <laughs> uh, it sucks, isn't it? Or it sucks, but um, that's why I noticed that the people that take care of the material aspect exclusively mm -hmm. and they become old, they become the, the typical what we call the um, old acid people. The people that uh, start a spiritual journey like I did, thanks to yoga, meditation, the myst facing the mystical aspect of existence, then they have a very easy old last part of life, let's right. say, no? So, because they understand many things, they discover many things, uh, you realize many, um, many things about different aspects of life, and so 
everything is much more easy. fluent, yeah. easy. Well, what's then you most realized then because of that? But then me, thanks to yoga meditation, changed my life. It's like if one day you have the news uh, the aliens are here officially mm -hmm. and uh, your life cannot be the same, no? Right. So the life you lived before was, would have been, it was different. So the new life will be completely different. So in my case, the yoga meditation, I discovered things that before I was just reading in the books and they thought, boo, will be true, will be not. But then when you experience on yourself, you say, okay, this is even not a scientist. Uh, no, studying the life in the universe can can really tell me this because I'm experiencing with my brain, with my heart, with my soul, by myself. So that was a great lesson of life. Yeah. And then when you start this, you cannot go back anymore because you realize that the life lived before it was a zombie life. Mm -hmm. At least I define it like this. Yeah. Then everybody yeah. defines it like it prefer. But yes, of course. Uh, okay. It's an important uh, <laughs> yeah. So suggestion. we all have to go yoga. Yeah, of course. But many artists do already, eh? Probably, now when I speak yeah. at the festival, I meet all the musicians. No, you too. Oh, oh, right. So everybody now is changing so into no the... no bodybuilding anymore. <laughs> the yoga, right? oh, you can do gym. Gym is important eh, gym for is the musician. Yeah. That's, yes. yes. But they especially help. the breathing techniques. Because with the yoga, which is... I'm not speaking about the gym exercise. So about the Western yoga. Right. I speak about the mystical aspect of mm -hmm. yoga. Yeah. So it's good to alternate gym and meditation, yoga and that's... Yeah. And you feel good and you will jump on stage like if you took uh, all the drugs uh, yeah. at once uh, yeah. existing in the like world, but, <laughs> but in a healthy way, yeah. you know? Yeah. So that's amazing. Cool. Yeah. All right. Tuck. Microphone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, what do you most appreciate uh, about working with Fabio as a singer? Ah, okay, this I could spend <laughs> something in 20, short. 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, no, no, I love Fabio. I work always with great singers. I had this great luck in my life, in my professional life. And uh, I would say that uh, Fabio is really special for many reasons. First of all, in this case, especially because as with this new band, to really Leonard Rhapsody, we want to really to, to offer variety as a primary uh, factor, yeah. uh, as first factor in this uh, new adventure, then uh, with Fabio it's possible because his voice is so multicolored, multicolored that uh, we can really uh, go for different styles in the same album, vocal styles of course. And for example, we have a lot of uh, Queen style parts in this new album. Mm -hmm. And this is just because Fabio can sing in that way, no? Right. And it's easy. And uh, we are working together since many years, so we know each other. Uh, so you know that what I will compose for him, I know what he will sing for me. It's just a magic. It's just pure magic. That's why it's great that we go on yeah. together offering something. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, something new. And uh, yes, it's just uh, for me, it's completely undervaluated. Under -evaluated mm. yeah. Because he could be, even in the music in general, he could be considered like one of the greatest singers yeah. around. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. uh, people know his cap abilities, his possibilities, just for, I would say, 60-70% of what he's really capable yeah. to do. Yeah, and he still surprises you in the studio, I guess. Of course, yeah. my God, but now it's great because in the studio we are not losing time to, 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 for the notes, for them right. to sound right like this, but for the interpretation, and this is yeah. pure magic, where the magic happens, yeah. no? Yeah. So, I don't know, we are speaking, okay, now think the, the sentence of the lyrics is telling this, so how you would uh, you represent it, we have to give uh, sadness, in this moment we have to give uh, melancholy, uh, and is able to do, yeah. it's like a jukebox, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and he does it all. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, thanks. Okay. Still stuff to go. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing. Whoop. Yeah, well, uh, a Ferrari, <laughs> yes. Italian. So, uh, did uh, your music career uh, bought you a nice car? A <laughs> I, was a, money, I, I bought uh, a, a nice car <laughs> at that time, no? We were very successful. It was a Toyota Celica. <laughs> but not really a Ferrari, but it was already a very, <laughs> very nice car. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. At that time, yes, it was happy. No, in reality, music was essentially a hobby for me, no? Because, of course, you have to think that when you go for such. Uh, for this style of productions, so you close yourself in, the, in a real studio for over three months. You know the expenses, yeah. all yeah. that, no? And we, with Rhapsody, since the very beginning, uh, we had a kind of, uh, well, apart the first contract, what they are, no? Of course, uh, if you read the biographies of uh, bands like uh, uh, Kiss uh, or yes, things like that, yes. you know this, the typical <laughs> story. But, yeah. but in the end, uh, 
also we of course we invested our own money so but really because we always wanted to give the quality to to consider we consider the quality as main mm. factor yeah. uh, we wanted to stay in the studio until the last minute until we were really proud of the final result mm. so we did it always like that so of course we had to invest a lot of personal money on top of, of the first uh, budget yeah. that we were yeah. receiving and um, i think it's important no because or you make music to sell and then I could make a David Guetta, you know, style. Yeah. I'm a composer, I can compose one style or the other. So yeah. if I want to sell and then make music for money, I can do other things, no? But uh, as I trust uh, in the music, as uh, really, you know, coming from the heart, uh, a mirror of your soul, I uh, consider it in that way. Then, of course, you, you come out from the studio only when you think that uh, you are totally satisfied. Yeah. Yeah. So, of course, this doesn't allow you to buy a Ferrari. You know. <laughs> no. A Toyota Celica was already a great result. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> and here, what we there have is the last one. Ah, oh, no, two. Okay. Little more. Ah, rising fall. So, yeah, the what did this guitarist mean to you? In yeah, your I lot, I lot, because it was the very first one. No, before I knew some guitar players, but. I mean, they were not moving so fast on the yeah. fretboard. Mm -hmm. So, yes, no, no, this was something I never heard before, so it was a big surprise. At that moment, a, a, this correspond, this album correspond, is related with the, the first tablature that was existing, because now you find tablature everywhere, yeah. on the internet, online, you can play whatever you want. Yeah. You don't. But that time I remember this huge book full of notes yeah. and the corresponding tablature for an easy reading. And uh, with all these numbers, because imagine how many notes yeah, yeah. there were in these <laughs> albums, were contained, included in this album. And so, of course, uh, uh, many hours I destroyed. Now I have it still, this book, the first one that I bought. And uh, I think now it's like uh, all the pages are torn. Oh, they're torn. Apart. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, but he but, was a uh, big influence on your playing. Yeah, of course, company. of course. Yeah. Uh, because I was coming from classical music. Yeah. Uh, and so this was the natural yeah. consequence, no? Yeah. Related to, to rock, yes. metal and so yeah. on. And uh, then, of course, I, after months, I also discovered uh, Jason Baker. That mm -hmm. was my devolution of such influence, yeah. no? Yeah. So my thing was more Baroque uh, oriented, inspired by Bach, uh, Beethoven. And then the next step was Jason Baker. That was my, I consider him the, the greatest guitar yeah. player ever. Yeah. Even now, I see on YouTube, the guys of 15, 16 years that play his songs yeah. from his solo album Perpetual Barn, that was for me is like uh, his album Perpetual Barn, and the one made with Fre uh, Marty Friedman, yeah. the Cacophony Speed yeah. Metal Symphony one, for me are the Bible of the guitar, so, uh, related with the guitar, because you find all the different harmonic passages you can find, all the sweep techniques really led to an incredible point that even now the new guitar players even if there is uh, they release one album but it never sounded like the one of Jason yeah. Becker and Marty Friedman there was everything there was ethnic music they were playing you know the combination between him and Marty Friedman was unbelievable so um, so yes it's yeah. something that I listen even yeah. nowadays yeah it's still so, in your DNA yeah, so, so of course yeah. also my yeah. thing then I lost yeah. a little bit in the last years yeah. my thing but uh, in of the course. beginning it was very really. very important yeah cool no, there's ah, okay. yeah, yeah, Queen! Yeah, yeah. So, you mentioned it before uh, in the interview, uh, Queen has an influence on the vocal part actually, Absolutely. on the new album. Why actually? Because Fabio is able to handle it, but... Yes, and because we love Queen, because we consider one of the most genial bands, no? Around. And uh, especially this album was very important for yeah. me when I... I listened to it the first time and said, but these are crazy people, yeah. <laughs> before being a musician, before being a genial musician. And uh, of course, by me, I absolutely, absolutely, there is not even need. But uh, there was not a relation, eh? when we chose our name, mm -hmm. there was not a, we, no. ne we never no. thought about that, no, no, no. no, no. Um, but of course, uh, I always loved the, the, the most um, uh, particular vocal arrangements that they always proposed us, no? So, like... Uh, songs like Bicycle even, yeah. or this kind of song, totally crazy, yeah, I mean, yeah. who did that before, no? Yeah. So yes, they were very fundamental and that's why in this new band we wanted to to really to have them as one of the inspirations. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. also because we were supposed, after the farewell tour, we were supposed to work with Fabio 
or something completely different, not her absolute, this was the last uh, decision, no? The compromise uh, we reached in some way to call us to really Lionel Rhapsody because at first we didn't want, because the farewell, with the farewell tour we wanted to close the chapter, right. no? Uh, and the first idea was to make us a Queen project. Ah. So that's why then we, when we decided in the end with record company management, all that, everybody agreed to go on as, to really Lionel Rhapsody because it was the only way really yeah. to start and not to restart from zero. Yeah. And nowadays in this market, you know, yeah, what this sense. can yeah. mean. No, no, otherwise yeah. there was no possibility yeah. Yeah. because our first idea was to move with the name Zero Gravity. So imagine. Uh -huh. But when uh, we decided to go for, for that solution that make all happy, mm -hmm. uh, in the end uh, we said, okay, we want to make a project in the style of Queen. Now we take some Queen influences and then yeah. we, we put them into this new. Yeah. Um, well, it's, it's, it's a great coincidence because uh, the Queen movie, Bohemian Rhapsody, is a big hit. Ah, yeah, yeah, but this was really a co coincidence yeah. because yeah. we started to work this even before yeah, it was. Uh, Have I you didn't seen even the movie? know. No. No? I didn't know, but now it's coming on Sky, yeah. so. You got it. You yes. Got it. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Yeah, super. Still well, something left. Just. This is a. Uh, something or is it yeah, just to throw it's a garbage bag <laughs> okay so are there any uh you know memories or experience that you really don't want to think about anymore just put it in this it's not this, big enough this bag <laughs> and just get rid of it and never think of no, it anymore no still not big enough even if i open <laughs> just a few examples oh my what god what do you no, want to put no in way, that no way this is the content of one year out of 20 years of career <laughs> really? that's so bad that's no, no 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 yeah. Uh, there were some moments of bad decision because normally when you are an artist, you're not a businessman. This is the problem. No? Yeah. So when uh, you're an artist but you're not a businessman, yeah. then you take wrong business decision. Yeah. So no? it's a kind of... Uh, yeah. and, um, and so we took many yeah. <laughs> wrong business yeah. decisions. Yeah. But and now uh, you did it on the good terms. Yes, you know, the problem is that in the very beginning, we will have the control because you are young. You're yeah. just happy to be there. They tell you, wow, the band is having a yeah. great, huge success. But in those early years, uh, let's say we made things that now we are ashamed of. So when you're ashamed of something, for example, yeah. some example? a few videos, the video, videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I would not even like to name them because then the people go to check them. Yeah, so maybe if I don't name them, the people will not go to search for them. They no, never they ask were. you to wear spandex. <laughs> No, no, okay. I tell you, I tell you. no, no, I tell you that. I tell you there were a few videos like the one of, uh, but also some photo session, very, yeah. very, you know, uh, yeah. original. <laughs> and, uh, you know, something like Reign of a Thousand Flames or Power yeah. of the Dragon Flame. These were some videos that we had to pay for all our career <laughs> because nobody <laughs> took us seriously anymore after yeah. that. And that was very sad for me because yeah. behind the, the fantasy saga there was a kind of very serious message, no? Yeah. So, but then it's like if the form takes over the, the substance, right. no? It is more, becomes more important. Yeah. And that's, that was a very bad moment and made us suffer artistically a lot. Because we realized just later, after many years, many years later, that uh, wow, well, yeah, we're really ashamed of, of what we did. What not what we did, what we let the other people do. Yeah. In some way, no, because yeah. you know you cannot control everything. Especially in that moment, in those moments, you don't know what you can say about something, what you cannot say, things like that. So mm -hmm. now we find in our curriculum yeah. some some things, some elements that uh, we are not really proud of. Let's yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The last one. Ooh. Very, very last one. Oh, oh. Question mark. Oh, oh. How do you want to uh, finish this interview, actually? How do you want to go out? But of course, in a positive way, no? Mm -hmm. We want to be positive because our message is just yeah. all but positivity. So you want and to say something to your fans? Yes, absolutely. But first of all, I would invite all of them to our upcoming shows, the new band shows, because this is, for us it's a debut. Really, at all effects, yeah. no? after 20 years, oh, mm -hmm. and uh, in some way, uh, we really hope that all these fans that already contributed, for example, to the crowdfunding campaign that we launched for this album, mm -hmm. they show really the same uh, affection yeah. and really they, they, they really support us, uh, encouraging us because uh, we need that, you know, because we invest so much of our soul and heart that would be just yeah. sad if we would keep it just. Uh, for us, no? So we always, but we are sure of that, of course. Yeah. Because when you give a message, a positive message, then everything comes back. 
so that's the basic no? yeah. um, thing. So I'm sure that they will, uh, will be with us uh, next year. We will start a big uh, headliner tour mm -hmm. uh, from January. So many days uh, around Europe. Yeah. So really, I ask them to be with us. We will live some great emotional evenings together in the name of our new style. Uh, yeah. All, that. Yes. All right. Well, be there. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for watching Headbangers Lifestyle.